So here we are in Bandera, Texas. CK Way has made its arrival. And we are in the beer garden of the Bandera Ale Project. Nice, nice people. John and Liz, owners, they are members or allowed of the Harvest Host app and they let you park on their grounds. Obviously you should patronage their facility, but it's a brew pub. They make their own beer, they've got all this cool stuff, but they have this wonderful garden. This is just beautiful. It's awesome. We're right up in the hill country of Bandera, Texas. If you look on a map, it's just to the northwest of San Antonio. So we are stopping for the night. Camper's parked right over there. And we're going to go buy a bunch of beer. We're going to get a couple of gift beers for people to travel with and drop off. It'll be fun. And then we're going to come out and we're going to grill and we're going to drink some beer. I think we're first going to get a workout in. What an awesome experience. So one of the promises I made the other night that I couldn't keep, we just finished our workout, so we're sweating bullets now. But we are here at Bandera, Texas. It's pretty awesome, actually. And we're staying as guests of the Bandera Ale Project, also known as the Bandera Brewery. And we are parked right next to their building, which is right here. And as Harvest Host app recommends and the owners permitted us, we are staying right here, there's the trailer. The boys are hanging out. Denver's in heaven. And I have been able to deliver on that noise. That noise means we're going to have air conditioning tonight. Chris Host, because I'm it's, butchering this. It's an app that um, geolocates you where you are. You sign up for it. And then you can hit near me or you can even look ahead and then what happens is is it shows you all of brew pubs breweries wineries uh vineyards but special, farms yeah special uh locations too like zoos oh yeah there was zoos there was like gator farms yeah. on the way over the and and then it's awesome so then they already gave permission to the harvest host app and i feel like i'm a wizard I guess they say this is the a man at the grill is the next closest thing to a king. So I'm king. so basically, you're allowed That's to awesome. you're allowed to park in their parking lot, and and you have to kind of be on the honor system. Like you're allowed to park in the parking lot, but they hope that you come in, either enjoy their food or eat at the restaurant or go do their yeah. services or whatever. You know, go see their their yeah. stalagmites and stalactites, or um, if if it's a cave. And uh, <laughs> this was cheaper than Walmart. <laughs> this was a hundred bucks in beer. Okay, yeah. So that's the thing, though. We're realizing. So, like, we're like, all right, we're avoiding campgrounds to try to save money. So we go to these free places, these free, quote unquote, places. But the first one was a Walmart parking lot, which was beautiful, by the way. But we ended up spending three hundred and seven dollars in crap that we needed anyway that night and then the next morning we realized we needed more stuff so we went back to Walmart so that camping uh, excursion cost us over $500 this one was free and um, we spent over a hundred dollars in beer <laughs> so but a shout out to Bandera Brewery oh my this God. is awesome this so, is yeah what's this one called use, uh, hamster it's called the hamster, the hamster. Tastes like juice. It's, it's, a, juicy, it's an IPA. It's grapefruit. It's like know. a great. So if you've had Sculpin before, this is kind of a rich, more body IPA. Yeah. It's not heavy on the alcohol, so it's like 5.7. So it's not so bad. But it's awesome, and we we got a growler. Anyway, so we're in the parking lot here grilling. Make note of the fact that you got air conditioning and water. I already said that, honey. I'm off the hook. This company. This here, awesome thanks company. to Sherry Fry. This is from the Spice and Tea Exchange in Fisherman Village, Punta Gorda. It is a chain. It is. It's a franchise, yeah. It's a franchise, yep. It's awesome. She's the manager there. She runs the show. Mm -hmm. but this is the Tailgaters Spice Blend. This is awesome, this and stuff. You she, put it on everything. She made that in front of you, right? Uh, I think it was in the back room. She had okay. a white lab coat on and hazmat yeah. suit. They'll so. literally make you whatever you want. It's, it's amazing. But, yeah, but they got a website. Go to the Spice and Tea 
Facebook.com. What's that fly doing? Spice and tea exchange. Like there it is. It's awesome. They're amazing. They're amazing. Look at that fly. You doing a little grill? Yeah. All right. Look at my hair. Holy moly. Look at that thing. How do you get that raccoon to lay so still? Well, I just pet it. <laughs> The next morning, we just spent the night at the Bandera Ale Project, the Bandera Brewing Company. Anyway, uh, how did it go? It was awesome. Uh, Bandera, Texas is beautiful. It's uh, If I was ever going to own property on a, a high ranch area or the hill country area, boy, that would be my first choice I would look at. It was awesome. And, Bandera Ale Project. Those folks are great. John and Liz, you guys were unbelievable hosts and so hospitable letting us stay there and giving us access to your beer garden. That was fantastic. We went out there late last night, took a moment to look at the moon and the stars, and it was just beautiful. So classic Texas Hill Country. Yeah. It was great. It was great. So um, one of the things that you promised to deliver on was um, AC and water. So I'm just wondering, how did that work out for you? <laughs> it worked part of the night. The problem was the Bandera <laughs> Ale Project beer was so good. Between the two of us, we drank a full growler. And I was in no shape to get up at about 3 o'clock in the morning to go refill the generator with gasoline. So he's like... Just open the windows. Well, it wasn't like that. I was like, it wasn't up there. Honey, you're going to open the windows, right? And I was like, well, yeah, I guess because I, I, I don't know how to bed. fill a generator. I guess I could have figured it out, but I wasn't getting out of bed. That's why I wasn't going to pour gas on a hot generator <laughs> in the condition that I was in. So, yeah. so I guess he, he partly followed through. We had AC until about three o'clock in the morning and then. But, uh, but you know what? Third time's the try. There, yeah. Third time's the charm. So yeah. I, I have faith in this man. I delivered on water. We had water last night. We had water. We had water. There were a couple of moments she was ready to pounce on me to make fun of me because we didn't have water. But that was because she didn't know how to operate the shower because there's a little button on the shower that shuts the water. And then there was one where we ran out of water. And she's like, we have no water. I'm like, well, you got to turn the water off. what pump. was I like again? We got no water. But one more time. <laughs> Anyway, she forgot right. to turn the water pump on. Then we had water. So I delivered on that. I think I got my, my if if we were back in high school, I think I would have got a, a C+. C plus. I would give you a C+. Plus. C plus, which was basically my entire high school anyway. So <laughs> yeah. pretty much C for see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. I gotta go. Bye-bye. <laughs>